yes, yeah, this is Offering Something, and I am your host, Michael Bernie, You're feeling so good to be alive. You know I love, love, love you for tuning into the show, that's for sure. A whole lot of appreciation goes out to our super sweet support system at Enjoy Your Life brand, Riverwalk Brewing Company, and the Higher Education Music and Arts Festival. If you're watching on YouTube, click that subscribe button for me. You know I love you, love you, love you for that. This show is also available on Amazon Fire TV, Apple TV, Roku TV, Distro TV. Get hip with it on the Plymouth Rock TV channel. Ah, yeah. So... Today we have a picture-perfect episode in store for you with a guest who is a seasoned photographer, a visual storyteller, a seeker of authenticity, an innovator of creative content, a man of the elements, an adventurer, an entrepreneur, an elevator of the human spirit, and a new companion to me. This dude is forever offering something, and it is with an overflow of charisma that I introduce to y'all. It's the Brian Nevins. Nice to hey, man. <laughs> How you feeling? Not bad, man. Happy to be here. Not bad. Not bad. <laughs> I just went from... from Relax to like, all right, we're Walks doing this, going man. On. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man, we're we have right, a good time. <laughs> all right, so from where I sit, I can see that you got it going on. You're a legend behind the lens. I honestly can't even list like all the super cool people and corporations that you've worked with. The list is endless. It goes on and on, and your work is awe-inspiring. I got to tell you that. Thanks, man. Um, you, you're sitting there bridging gaps from musicians to athletes to adventurers to stunt performers. It's impressive. So tell me this. What came first? Um, was it the camera or the love for photography? Mm. That's a good question. You follow me? Did you get the camera think, because you were into photography, or did the camera make you fall in love with photography? I, you know, that's a that's a hard one to actually like break down and break it down <laughs> somehow <laughs> in that version. I I didn't I didn't get into photography until I was about seventeen or eighteen. Yeah, um, I wanted to be a surf bum. And so I left home. That was the goal. Yeah. Like, like your goal That's system. all it was, man. Yeah. I just wanted to surf. Um, so I just you know, packed my truck. I moved out west of the board, and mm-hmm. that was that. I just kind of... Out west, California, is that what that yeah, means? Yeah. Yep. I would, uh, moved out. I actually started up in San Luis Obispo. It's actually like cow country out there, yep. but big waves and no people, and it's like my kind of place. Right um, on. But I ended big up waves, to, no people. No people. Right, we're getting <laughs> to know you here. Yeah. Um, but no, I ended up going to a, a junior college out there and took uh, photography as like a... Um, you had to get a credit kind yeah, of situation? boner class, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh, I just ended up getting super lucky with um, amazing human being for a professor, for a teacher, life teacher kind of person. Can you give his name? Or are you comfortable with that? Yeah, no, his name is Pat, but he's... Uh, it's Pat. Pat, yeah, we just go... He, <laughs> okay. He, he actually, he passed away about... Uh, I'd say like 30 days after he got me into um, my higher studies program. Wow. So it was like a big... Rest in peace, Pat. Yeah, yeah. good dude. But he had a good like credo. He's like, oh, if you're just going to run around chasing waves, you might as well take a camera with you and see what you can make of yourself. And um, I took it to heart. And yeah. That was it. Chased after it. And so neither the camera nor the photography really was the thing that got me going. It was just a life, life abroad. So... When you're in that class, did you have to purchase a camera before you took the class, or does the school give you a I camera? I had the to camera. Use? I had it, but it was back then. It was film. So it was like, film. What um, was it? An old Minolta. I was. I can't even remember the model on it. I actually still have it buried in a box in my my basement. But it was an old Minolta. My mom got me. Yeah. Uh, when I was Minolta. in high school, so <laughs> worked. Ah. It got me through. So we can't agree that you do love photography. The process or and the actual 
photo that is created. Yeah, totally. Okay. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I like that. So they're, they're two very different things, the process of yeah. capturing the photo and then admiring what you've captured totally. or editing it, right? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so at what point – so Pat passes away, and you get into your higher education program, right? Is that what you called it? Yeah. And – at some point during that or prior to, did you have the feeling, you know what, I'm going to pursue long term, I want to be a photographer? Yeah, I knew, I knew right, right at that moment as I got into um, my next schooling that, that I, well, I just wanted to work for Surfer Magazine. Yeah. That okay. Was it. That was it. You like, knew that. It was it. So goal. as you're in your higher education program here, what... What uh, are you already taking steps to like you hitting up Surfer Magazine? Yeah, or, okay. um, yeah, it was pretty quick. Uh, I actually, oddly enough, I went my next level of education. I went for forensic photography. Oh wow, look at that! Couldn't be any more. That's different. Uh, like opposite. taking pictures yeah. of people on waves or dead bodies yeah. and <laughs> scattered fragments more. of torn clothing. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it couldn't have been any more polar <laughs> opposite. But no, I I started quickly, but um, or like, trying to trying to open up that door but it was hard because being back from new hampshire and um surf culture at that point we weren't really known right. for anything Wait, other than so the, you're you're birthed into this world in new hampshire i was yeah hampton born and raised <laughs> hampton, <laughs> hampton <laughs> yeah. close to the beach yep uh no we were actually exeter line growing up i got so you i snowboarded first i didn't get into surfing until i was in high school um but it hit hard when it hit so so you're hitting up Surfer Magazine while you're there. Was there one big thing that happened that was like the jump off for you with Surfer Magazine? Yeah, I think so. I got a l everything's with luck and timing, yep. and we had a good um, photo editor in place at that point from New Jersey, and he kind of understood the um, how hard it was for people from the East Coast to break through in the industry. Yeah. And he had a soft spot, and I just hammered him until he gave me a uh, shot. So, and he gave me my shot. That was it. Right on. So, what was the first picture that was published? Um. The first, my first picture published was actually from Hawaii, um, but that was from assisting another photographer and kind of learning yep. the ropes. But my first assignment with Surfer was a portrait, which is what I love to do. Um, and I was able to go down to Surfer. They didn't have access to good lightings, and I found a way to get access to good yep. lighting. So I was able to kind of ooh and ahm a little bit. Mm. And like, all right, well, you might not be like fashionable cool california <laughs> surfer but the kid can do the portraits you know yeah. like doing the hard part um the part that most people wanted to be in the water doing those shots and so like to kind of gravitate towards the the things people didn't like to do as much which yeah. i've just always been into it worked in my favor now i go on your website it's pretty nice job it's thanks pretty. Good. Yeah. looks good for my <laughs> eyes yeah 22 years man <laughs> yeah. i hope so yeah. and i like i for for one, I go look at, I think it maybe it says music is the title, Musicians, yep. and it's like Chadwick Stokes is on. It's like epic, like 50 different musicians that you've taken photographs for, and then you go on to the uh, client's page or whatever it is, and you see these companies that you've done work for, like on that list, Live Nation, Coca-Cola, Red Bull, Converse, American Express, Playtex, Trans World, Snowboarding, Target, Hyundai, Hilton Hotels, Thai, yep. et cetera. Now, you, you get the picture in Surfer Magazine. Yeah. How the hell does everything <laughs> happen from there? I have no idea, man. That's a long, strange trip. <laughs> um, honestly, because do you surf? No. Okay. I say, surf, but I'm not a surfer. Somehow like to make it always, that clear. Yeah. I feel like it always, it always just kind of ties in that way. And like yeah. almost any client I've worked for in one way or another, somebody on their team was a surfer and was like, oh, you got to see this guy's work or, oh, cause gotcha. surfing just like binded a lot of things through surfing the years. Surfing is the foundation so, of it this. It is. Yeah, yeah, yeah it man. is. And it might not be like what you, you know, yeah. what it ends up being the work, but it's what, what people want to talk about. Right. But as you say, it might not end up being the work. Did was the corporate operations of those the real money makers, the working yeah. gigs, quote unquote. So, like, what are you doing for Tide? You taking pictures of the box of detergent? Yeah, Tide was a heavy. Actually, that was a great client that um, I worked for their Loads of Hope program for four years. So the U.S. they had a yeah. U.S. based nonprofit program where every time a natural disaster came, um, they had a whole setup where they would go down and. Wa you know if you lost your home but you still had a bunch of your clothes left mm -hmm. they just would wash people's clothes so tide just wanted to be there to, wow, to yeah. just like look like this is all we can do and 
um, I loved it because like people, especially with nonprofit stuff, like, oh, well, I'm not, I can't build a home or I can't do this. But if you just bring whatever you're good at to the table, I, yeah. you know, I promise you it does make a difference. And it was cool to see a company like really invest what they were good at. And it made such a huge difference That's every time cool. we did that. Yeah. So. so explain to me like the process of getting involved with Tide. Are you targeting Tide? I didn't. So they're all different. Yeah. Some of them I do. Some of them I do yeah. approach myself. But um, Tide was done through actually... Um, a local company, Trigger House. Yeah, um, I got gotcha. you. They're out of Portsmouth, and that's one of their bigger clients. So they do the build outs of those programs for them. Um, and I just go along, go back a long ways with those with those guys. So that yeah. foot in the door that way. So Tide's my introduction with Tide was done. So sometimes them. you are actually sitting at your computer thinking of companies that you yeah. know people are getting work at, soliciting like, hey. I can take great photos. Here's my resume. All the time. I got you. I'm, I'm throwing food against the wall. So how <laughs> is it like 50% you're making it happen and 50% is just going on because of who you are? It's like 90% trying to make it happen <laughs> and 10% doing. It's just a nonstop making it happen. Um, it's hard. So I see like photography is similar um, in a sense to being a musician where people often try to get you to do something under the guise of exposure. Sure. This is a great person to be shooting. Right. Everyone's going to see it. How do you manage that stuff? I, I, you say I no, or you do yeah, everything. You I just, don't. I, I don't. It's always no. The, the word exposure at this point <laughs> is, I don't know what more I can do to expose myself. Right, I don't know what there's any more. So cover, people still every, approach everything. you with like, this kind of thing. Oh, they'll do it until they're damn dead. But it's worse now because when... when um, I started out the first half of yeah. my career. I'm not going to say the the job was more prestigious, but it was uh, harder to get into the craft. Now yeah. the buy-in is you just get a digital camera and an Instagram page and you're a photographer. Yeah. And they, they are abusing oh, those people, that, yeah. you know? Yeah. So they're uh, like, there's ki kids will give it out for free. And so now it's actually more frequent to be approached for exposure. It's a, it's a, it's a bummer. Be and I do, I get emails every day from younger kids that are like, this is what's being told to me. And then nothing comes yeah. in return. And it, it's a, it, just the way the world goes, man. It's a harsh place, but yeah, there's just no, like it's, if it's for work. So have you developed some sort of a kind response to this or you yeah. get a little upset with people and you're like, bro, no, no always no, nice. Yeah, Brian Evans, no. always nice. <laughs> so kind. Looking out the window, like uh, everybody out there in the world is so smart. Uh, oh, I just love them. At least some, <laughs> at least somebody said it once. <laughs> um, uh, I, Let's, if you're comfortable, let's yeah. just talk numbers, right? Sure. In this sense, I, go, I call you. I send yeah. you an email, however things are done. Hey, Brian, I want you to follow me around for two hours in one location, take pictures, and I want 25 edited photos after. Sure. 500, 5,000, 8,000, uh, two yeah. hours. I'm not going to be too picky with the edits. Give me 25. I'm taking 20, assuming five I'm not going to like, so don't stress it too much. Do your job. Yeah, that's funny. I have, literally have to answer that question yeah. to about four people right now on email. Yeah. So I'm like, oh, uh, it just te it shoot tears. High then. Shoot yeah, <laughs> it, it I guess I could say that probably the same response you're having with music, you know. Yeah. So it, is that Situational. For, for something here in Portsmouth yeah. or Newburyport, or is this for for Tide? You know, like what yeah. what are their intentions with it? Because yeah. the big thing with photos is usage. So. Yeah if you're going to be getting that photo in front of, you know, 5 million people and yeah. it's going to turn your R ROI up pretty high, you're going to make lots of money off of that, then we would negotiate a pretty high number. Gotcha. But if this is for a local company, like the, it, the metrics don't work the same. It's kind of hard too, because a lot of people are afraid to approach yep. a professional photographer because they think it's going to yeah, be it's out gonna of your be limit. $5,000 you know? for I may not want to, yeah. I, or I may not have the time <laughs> because of the bandwidth from other work, but right, if I right. do, like, yeah, it's, it's all tears. So I don't know, I could... But I mean, I've gone, I mean, I've gone as high as 50 K on a job, yeah. you know, like it's gone up that high before, but that was for a national ad campaign. Right. That was the basis of a company's product for an entire year. So how did you learn how to price things out? Like what, did you have a mentor? You had someone you go to, yeah. like, how did you un start to understand the business Ask, side? Asking and asking, and then also trying. So every time when I was coming up, I'd be like, let's try three grand for the day. Right. You'd say right. that. And then somebody would say like, okay. And you go, oh God, shit, nice. like, should have said five. Was That's wrong. Right. You know, it's like, I was wrong. And then you can tell when people are starting to get uncomfortable because the hard part is, is you don't ever want to 
undercut the other guys ever. Like it's right. not, it's not, I wish there was a, a structure that was uh, readily available so everybody could kind of like get on board with it. But yeah, that's never going to say happen. I'm also not as good as Mark Seliger, but right. I'm also way better than, you know, exactly. the local kids. So like what, what you have to kind of like way better. <laughs> put that in, how do you put that in a pr- like how how do you, you don't? I think but, you pick your number. This is what I want to get paid to do this. I, I I think that's the approach. That's it. Um, so and and a lot of just like winging it and making it up along the way. Yeah, of course. And that you know you don't get a choice in that too. You do something for Surfer, they have a rate. You're gonna get yeah. paid a hundred dollars for an image. That's like it. hey, this is what you're getting. That's you're it. Like, right, and cool. there's no mo- there's yeah. no money. You know, yeah. but you don't do like those are the things you do. That's what you, that, that's you just your do foundation. You, love it. you just do it. You yeah. Know? That's it. Um, so at this point, you consider yourself a businessman. You're an entrepreneur. Yeah. You're a businessman. For sure. Was there, is there a love for that side of it? Was that an intention? And you're like, ah. No, I hate it. You, you don't like it. No, I don't like it at all. I don't, um, I just, I'm mostly, it's because I'm so bad at it. Um, I'm really good at the creative part of the craft and really, really terrible at the business part. And I just What got, are you terrible at? <laughs> what, what, explain to me. So if um, I was to send you an email Tomorrow morning at nine and say, this is what I want to do on this day for the, you're just like not going to get back to me maybe for six days. No, I wouldn't be that bad, but I, I, some things could slip through. Yeah. I'm, I'm pretty like, I'm pretty bad sometimes. Yeah. What's, is there a system for organizing? How do you know <laughs> no. what you have to do? No, I like, like asking that. How do you know what like you have to do? Where is it written down? Is there a detailed yeah. calendar? No, you don't, you don't you just know. wake up and you like, I have a, I have a pre-planned day. Like, they're just X amount of people that I but, would like to reach out to, X amount of people I have to follow up with. And When the world's normal, you're traveling a lot, though, so you got to yeah. kind of have it together, right? Yeah. You have a family. Yeah. you got to kind of know. The family part really threw you that You think for about a, a week out, is that what you're telling me? The, the dad duties really put the whole keeping everything <laughs> <laughs> in line out the window. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, it's uh. hard, man. It's all of it. Dude, keeping the books and, like, all that stuff, it's just hard. I don't – and then – and marketing is really hard, man. It just – so you do it is every there a day team or you're you're getting it it's done? Just me. Uh, yeah. yeah. I wish I did. Some days I wish I was smart enough to just get a free intern to like <laughs> be smart like, enough to go yeah. call these companies up and you know find us work. But I do this know. all day for the next day. seven days instead of me like going. Oh, I'm gonna spend two hours yeah. on Wednesday looking for new business. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Harsh. Uh, so let's talk about some shoots. Do you do you personally have a shoot that you, is, is that hip? Sure. A shoot is yeah. that. That, that works. Did I call it something else? No, that works. Yeah. You sure? I think so, yeah. Okay. I don't have so, a word for it, so. Is there a shoot <laughs> that you've done that you're like, that was my most favorite shoot? Definitely. Uh, is that a thing? Yeah. No, I get asked that a lot, too. No, because I... There's... I'm glad to be just like a regular guy, like everyone else asking you this question. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> you don't have a shoot. It's, it's not one, that no. ever stood out. No, all of them do. They all like... They're I, all I could, I could be like, oh, you, dude, you should have been here for... You Are you excitable? Do you get excited? Like sometimes. You'll sometimes. you'll raise your voice and be like, Whoa! Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. mean <laughs> yeah. if it's a good if it's a good especially the outdoor stuff, yeah, if we're having a good you know, it's a good yeah. pow day, a good surf day, I get fired like up. Like when on that. you're with Travis Pastrana yeah, and he's up. doing backflips on his motorcycle yeah. and everyone's cheering, you you you're there, you're screaming. Yeah, it's pretty fire. Bro, up. that was sick. Yeah. Let's talk about Travis. Sure. What's what's that? relationship like how yeah. did that come to be can um, you send him a text with a funny joke like is it that close like, no what's going no on there? no not at all but no, we, i no. mean we do i mean I've, i have to communicate with them every now and again but it's always you been, have to um, <laughs> work work related for yep. sure it started with uh red bull stuff back in the day and then um actually he was i got uh more jobs during covid working with him which was really nice yep. um but he's working with uh, the UTV company Can-Am. Um, so he's doing that and uh, his own personal project. So just have no problem going down and getting pretty gnarly with somebody and nice. doing some radical stuff. So so you there. are kind of his go-to photographer. No, I wish. He's You're got not. A, you know, he's got thousands, man. There's he's like, got yeah, thousands. He's, like, he's just like, this seems like a Nevins yeah. thing. <laughs> there's a That's ton. It. But no, it's always, <laughs> it's always a treat to work with that guy, man. He's... Um, um, I don't know, consummate professional. Like yeah. as crazy as he seems, he's the most professional human being I've point. ever met around. Yeah. So it's cool. Yeah. Um, money's not a thing. It doesn't even matter. You have whatever you need, Brian. All the things, all the love, all the food, the shelter. It's all there. Yeah. What are you taking pictures of? Same thing. 
I'm Same doing thing. it. Yeah, I do it. I, I've been. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Number one answer. <laughs> kind of doing what you want to do with your time. Yeah. And it's your career. Yeah. That's why it's a career. That's why it's everything. Because the money, it. actually, to be, and it sounds cheesy, but I could care less about the money. I don't, yeah. I don't, because I don't make any anyway. So it's, <laughs> it doesn't, and I'm true. He's like, yeah, we're 50K to shoot this. I don't <laughs> yeah. make any money. It's, it's like, it's like that, what, the one time Making you no did money it, you know? is <laughs> a lot different to some people. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We go, do you have had, do you have years that were 8K? I've had years that were close to six figures, you know, yeah. and everything in between. Yeah. And I'm just as happy on the air. Yeah. If not happier. You carry a nice way about you. Like you, you seem like you're in a pleasant space and comfortable yeah. with yourself. I'm getting old and cranky, so I'm, <laughs> sa I'm settled in, man. <laughs> you look young. Looking good. Don't um, give a shit anymore. So it's pretty safe to say not taking photos at high school. No. Not, not doing weddings. No. Was there ever a wedding stretch? No. Like that. No. Never had to, like, no. most photographers I know, they're like, oh, I got to do, like, six weddings to yeah. really pay no. for me to do what I want to do. And I'm like, oh. To, to be honest with you, too, like, it's not because I think it's lame. It's not into I'm it. I'm just, I, res I just respect, I respect the craft and people that are, uh, there's people that love shooting weddings and are extremely good at it. And that's not me. So I don't want to do something that I wouldn't be. I wouldn't be great at it. It's not my yeah. subject. It's not my subject. And I can, I respect Not like, into it. No. And not there's passionate. people that are, and I, I love watching yeah. them work and the work they create. It's, it's great. But photography shouldn't be for money. It should be because you, you're doing what you love to do and it, and it reflects in your work. As, as should anything you anything. do with your time. Yeah. Take anything. action. Yeah. So, and if you really want money, I really would not be getting into photography. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you take photos that are definitely like abundant with life. They create emotions. And I know that you're really into like what people draw out of them. There's people from far and wide that love them and people that we've discussed that are like contacting you to come take their photos. Um, as a human, we all have an ego. Has this kind of attention or doing the having these major clients have you developed any ego you kind of like feel like you're pretty cool around the photographer kids or no it maybe you stay level and nice uh, at this age and at this point kind of opposite now um it's been more deflated but was <laughs> <laughs> that, was there a time when you were first getting all yeah. those red bull gigs and things people were talking you're like bro maybe oh, yeah. i'll take pictures of you when my, my first like five, six years freelancing with Surfer when I was on top of my game was was as your 20s should be competitive and <laughs> cutthroat. And I was proud of what I did. Yeah. And I earned Established it, Established position. I had knuckled my way in there in between a bunch of big names from Hawaii and California. And yeah. I earned my keep. And I was proud of that. And I walked Anyone around Anyone that you that. really enjoyed kind of pushing them yeah. out of the way? Yeah, a few of them. I'll you, leave them nameless. Leave yeah, them nameless. We still, we still kind of like, and we talk civilly now because yeah. we did it to each other. But like, even when they have like a bad day, and I see that on social media, I'm like, yeah, yeah. good, you know. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you still yeah, like, yeah, and yeah, it's yeah, good. It's right. healthy to be, com yeah. it's healthy to be competitive. I'm glad. I, I agree had it. with that. It was fun. People have a a common misconception that the camera takes the picture and they kind of sure. dumb down the product. Dude, I can do that with my iPhone and. Um, do you, does that come into play? Like people say these things to you, like you're going to charge me $5,000, dude, I'll do it with my iPhone. Like, th does this come yeah. into your world still at a professional level? Yeah. People are like, come on, what's the difference really here? Yeah. You know, you're not really doing anything. No, totally. Yeah, they do. And sometimes I, I can even allow that to be, uh, an argument, you know, like I have to yeah. come up with uh, a reason why I'm worth whatever I'm asking them. Yeah. Um, and they're right. We can actually, I'm not going to argue with you. We could go outside and you can pull your iPhone out and take a picture too. Yeah, of um, course. but it's, it's really like, and even with all the post-production I can do or all the tricks and the magic with the camera, it, it's all based around finding the guts of a story and you can keep pressing the button all you want. It has, it's not going to do anything until you get in there yeah. and write the song, you know, like you have to have the lyrics that understand that feeling. And you're not going to project it. I can go buy a guitar too yeah. and learn how to play it yeah. and learn how to play the same song. So it's but your I can't sing creative that. approach, your it angle, is. your it lighting. Make, it makes a you difference, see, yeah. you know? It really yeah. does. Think of your favorite song by your favorite artist. And if you sang it compared to how they yeah. sang it, yeah. you're not, but why? You know, like even yep. if you do it beautifully, but they're telling that story, you know? So they're, um, it's really hard to do it. And it takes a lot of, um, 
I feel like I got a lot better at it the older I got because I listen a lot more now than so I, I used was going to say. So on your site, um, it mentions how you really want to get the story. Like you try to get to know the subject and understand them before the photography process. Before you start. is that is that true? When you yeah. go on a shoot with somebody, you try to take the time to hang with them, get an understanding yeah. of what they're looking for, make sure you're comfortable with each other. Hundred percent. Yeah, best I can. And I say, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, and I really it always reflects like I've had jobs where you just have to muscle through it, not get that time to socialize and the photos reflected it, mm. you know, and there's just nothing. And the even real though the job might has be, the time that like gets scheduled yeah. in, we're going to have the get always. all right for these two hours. We're going to talk about totally. what we're going to do for photos. And then the real, real jobs have the, we're going to do a shoot, but this isn't the shoot we're keeping. And then we're having the real, yeah. Yeah. Or it's yeah. like show up, take your camera out, set up the lights. Yep, rush roller coaster. You never know what you're gonna get. <laughs> um, so y you already told me you're educated in the field. You went to school for it. Um, do you feel that that was a huge assistant in what you were doing? Aside from like the right place and the right time stuff, did the schooling, all no having all that knowledge at that point, which was mostly film when you were in school. Yep. Did that strongly benefit your success in the field? Or do you think it was more of your nitty gritty, get it done, take pictures, put in the work, try to be on the scene? Yeah, obviously like anything, it's the nitty gritty that does yeah. the majority of the work for you. But um, no, I, I, I find a lot of um, benefits to having gone to school and it builds a foundation, you know, or it did. You just don't need it anymore because it's readily available yeah. online. We didn't have that back no. then. Uh, that's also why I went for forensic photography because it was a way to learn as much about the craft as humanly possible. It's a scientific yep. craft. Yeah. It, it, it's just numbers. Like cameras work off of light reflect refraction. Um, so the more you can learn about that, the more as you're you're telling a story, there's just tools that are in the if back If you of looked head. at the settings on all the cameras around here, you'd be like, what is wrong with no, these No, not people? at all. But I could, t <laughs> I mean, I could just, I could do a math equation looking at this, what I would do with my camera, like how I would just, I would just do it. But when you see the clothes. lighting in here, you're like, okay, this is what I would do. I'd go to this setting. Like me, I'm like, it's just whatever the setting is for auto on the Canon Rebel TS6, <laughs> yeah. whatever that I have. Yeah. So the photos are just look a little bit better than my phone. Yeah. The $2,000. No, not, <laughs> no. I, I'd already have my, my mind's already made up a whole shoot right now. But dude, a lot of the jobs I get, you walk into this where I'm like, oh, okay, this is the lighting we got. Like, okay, this is what we're going to do. You know, so. Is it, you hate this lighting? Is it all right? It's cool. It's cool for podcast this would yeah. be a nightmare for photography yeah though. you get the red light coming down yeah. and like it just this is like the worst color for the digital, worst they're for digital sensors they hate it so yeah. there's a lot of um so you're a little upset about the lights no no, uh, no it's, it's nice okay. to enjoy because i don't have to do i'm not shooting so it's like i get to enjoy it it's good um, uh i want to uh, you're happy i want to increase your happy sure. right now okay <laughs> can i give you a gift sure you, you you're into that i'm into it yeah Oh, hot diggity. What do we got? All right. It's a gift for you. I love you. This is the goody, 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 goody box. Everybody that comes here gets a gift. It's just, why not? It always creates a, a heightened sick. vibration. All the love. <laughs> the most necessary. <laughs> out of the box. Right there, there it is. The enjoy your life bib. <laughs> That's for me, actually. <laughs> yes. Oh, this is sick, man. Thank uh, you. Take, take them right out. Take the things out. I, want, oh, yeah. I, I like getting into this process here, <laughs> talking about the things. So this is for me at the, yeah. at the end <laughs> That's good. at the end of a long day yeah because that is how I'm gonna need to eat my food there this we go sick. you got a cap there look at this you, will you wear a hat yeah I'll wear a hat that right yeah. now. Oh, I wasn't trying to get you to wear it right now sucking you in yeah. that was one of the smoothest hat transitions I have ever seen there was no does time where you didn't have a hat on it it does look good yeah this might have to go back on because it's like my whoopee. That's fine with me. That's my music that I'm giving to you because that's just, what? I think you'll enjoy it. Do you have to put that? How do you, how do you play it? Does it work in an iPhone or? No, I give you that and then I send you the download. Does there like a, do I scan the iPhone? Nope. <laughs> nope. We actually have to is communicate like one is more what, time. <laughs> Although this is still actually kind of modern. because I was like, you know what? This dude's old. He's going to respect yeah. the CD. Well, I was going to comment on the cassettes I saw earlier. It's like, oh, I'm so oh, jealous, yeah. man. Can oh, we listen that to right some there. Of those 90s hip hop collection over there on that side of the room. What we got here? That's my band. <laughs> Two, two times I'm giving you my Dude, music. Our sick. band, Free Volt, I dig Drop it. I, Rock. The good thing, luck, lucky for you, I'm old enough to still have a yeah, CD yeah. player. Yeah. So. Some stickers, put those sick. on your face.
sticker of Sarah Maye, some Enjoy Your Life stickers. She's a New Hampshire man. person. Of course. Involvement music. Oh, I, I guessed extra large. You feel feel safe with that? Oh, I think that looks perfect, cool. actually. Yeah, that's me. Yeah. I'm XL. Evolvement music. That's, that's where we are. Love it. Yeah. Love this on tomorrow. Yeah. Thank you. It's rad. You're doing full Christmas box there. <laughs> I'm trying. There is you go, cold? a beer. Is this cold? That is not cold. That is not cold because I, you know, that's the kind of one I, I'm trying to get you to bring home. So, so, so these guys are local? So, Newburyport? That is Riverwalk Brewing Company. It's a partnership with Enjoy Your Life brand for a session IPA at 4.4. Deliciousnessness. Always support your local breweries. Yeah. Always. It is in Newburyport. What do we have there? I thought that would look good on you as you're getting, like, before oh, you take oh. off your shirt to go surfing. <laughs> Advertising. <laughs> Enjoy your There's life. Loves you. Just... They're like, this is the surf guy. Let's go. Give awesome. him everything. Yeah. Wow, man. Christmas morning. Candy cane Literally, from Christmas. This is where I got the I Christmas I wanted to catch from. a little Christmas vibe, you know? Fucking... I'm working here. Golf ball used. Yep. You golf? No. But I'll use it to throw it at somebody. Yeah, you gotta throw it at somebody. I do have to drive with a 95 you from, from here after this, so I'm sure that'll come into use. I feel like you somebody. know Aldous Collins. I'm not sure that you do. No. He's like a New Hampshire guy, but that's his artwork there. Oh, that's sick. a female tank top because I knew you had an other in your life. Yeah. And it says One Love, and it has the name of like every country in the world on it. That's literally And I know that you're a guy that loves people and you feel like... You want peace and these things. Am I pushing that on you? You don't want peace? <laughs> <laughs> no, I want peace because, you know. It makes your day got, easier. No, you don't I have don't to have look through all much. these CDs. <laughs> I can't help it. This is amazing. No. McAllister Drive. Woo! And I don't know what that is. Big Lonesome. Big Lonesome. There it is. Dude. Big memory. CDs. Big memory. All right. So this is my most favorite part. What you got there is some <laughs> shorts. I believe they are O'Neal, right? Sick. Up your alley. But those are used. Those are my old shorts. <laughs> They've been washed, but they don't, they don't fit me. They were big on me when I got them. And I wore them a couple times. But I was like, you know what? Instead of putting them in the trash, maybe Brian will wear them. That's it awesome. got a little surf vibe to him. He's like, this is creepy. I love it. <laughs> There's a first for everything, bud. That is a first for me. Yeah. That's that awesome. That happens on every episode Ooh. of this show. The golf ball. That's good. We lost the golf mm -hmm. ball. That's going to end up I love somewhere. giving people my old clothes. I don't know what that is. Dude, maybe awesome. I need to talk to a, a therapist. Dude, thank you. <laughs> Much appreciated. Uh, so what was the feeling like when you had opened that package, not this package, the package, and saw the Surfer magazine with your picture on the cover of it? Oh, yeah. That was, that, was, that was a big day. That, was that a, is a that big was, day. Well, That's that was big a, for anybody. That was the end goal of the whole thing, you know, is to, to end up on the cover of Surfer. So that was my childhood dream, and to kind of accomplish that was, you know, that was special. That was a good day. That was a hard-fought trip. That was a um, two-month feral trip yeah. in Indonesia. Yeah. I starved. I lost 15 pounds on that trip. I could. When you say starved, well, like days without food? Yeah, literally, you... like you see on the TV shows, like mm. naked and afraid shit. Mm. So, I good. don't watch TV. I don't know what that means, but I, <laughs> I got a good idea. If I was naked yeah, and afraid, I probably wouldn't to, have much that food. That should sell it to you right there. Yeah. <laughs> but no, it was good. It was... Um, um, not not the shot I was expecting or the trip I was expecting that to happen with, yep. um, but in hindsight, it was the best one for it to happen with. It's We had this editor at the time that was uh, old traditional California cool guy, wore puka shells, and yeah. like it had to be Bro, this, this tight photograph of a surfer from Southern California, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. This ends up being this pulled back grainy black and white film shot of a dude walking out to wave, which doesn't have any advertisers on it, which at that point in the surf industry, every mm. single cover had to have yeah. a company name on it. Yeah. And uh, the guy was out sick for a few weeks. So the interim editor slipped it through. So it was kind of a like rebel cover at the time. And, and um, that's true. It was what? cool. It was like really like when it came out, I was like, oh, that's, that's huge. You know, but what was the year? What year is this? 2005 or six or something like that Hell somewhere around why there. so d you knew before uh, like before the package came to you like you knew that you had made the cover shot like a couple days before or not until no, it was released? not until i saw it 
Yeah, I didn't you know opened the I package, yeah. and that was when you became aware. Yeah, and they come on. They back then they send you the package was um, it was actually uh, they send it to you framed and plaqued and all that stuff. Like they do it for every photographer that gets every cover. That's like the the yeah. kind of like the tradition. Wow, I had it for maybe two minutes. My mother took it away from me, and it's still hanging in her. So, her office so i don't i don't even have it it's so the, when the package came did you like, wow. did you know what it was or did you just do they no. always send them when you're you have any pictures in yeah it? i know just just i uh, got you i just got them every yeah because i had pictures almost every month anyways, well, congratulations so. <laughs> yeah, yeah. it's been a while yeah. i know it's yeah. been a while but like if that was a goal it it's was, off the yeah. list like yeah what else do you have to do here uh, yeah you know? Yeah, a lot more to do, but yeah. I know. Yeah. <laughs> uh, do you have an extensive camera collection? Do you find yourself collecting cameras or is nope. just one? No, nope. no. I mean, there's a couple kicking around, but um, no, I was always a uh, advocate of um, if it doesn't make you money, don't buy it. So I, got you. I keep it really simple and really tight. Like, but typically when you, let's say you're doing a shoot where you can't be carrying a ton of stuff and you're bringing your cameras is it two cameras strapped around you is that kind of your operation no no not even i'll just pull it out when i need it keep yeah. it in a bag i don't yeah I, i'm just very i'm very minimal everything's okay. very minimal it's not uh and so, after after traveling the world for a long time doing it you don't keep your gear out like you don't yeah you don't do that that's not unless so you want to unless you want to end up you know robbed like you just don't gotcha keep your stuff right, flashing your gear yeah what well, yeah guys i see um so this goes right in line. So I did say you were an adventurer in yeah. the beginning of this year. Let's talk about some of these adventures. You, sure. you said Indonesia. Yep. No food. Yep. What, where else did have you been in this world that is uh, standout-ish as that was an adventure? Not like, adventure. oh, great trip. Yeah. Like, oh, boy, I almost died out there. This is crazy. <laughs> what a world. Ah, oh, yeah. back on the plane. I never thought I'd be so excited to go to New Hampshire. Yeah. Yeah. Um. I don't know. They're all they're they're all again. I I can't because they're all so good. But they're all so good with surfer um, near death trips. What do we got near death? Yeah, a yeah. few. A lot to Mexico. Ra Mexico. Near, yeah, Mexico is all the near death ones in Mexico. <laughs> all of them are in Mexico. Those are the those are the young and dumb days. So getting in trouble down there. But um, yeah, Hawaii over the years. But with surfer, it was uh, Japan, Indonesia, South Africa, Australia, New wow. Zealand, uh, Norway, Sweden. Ireland, Iceland. We were the second trip into Iceland. That's not like a surf destination. That wasn't Jeez. even a thing back then. Um, everywhere. Scotland, that was great. I worked on a sheep farm in the Outer Hebrides <laughs> of Scotland for a month and a half. That was wild. What? Yeah. Your camera took you to all these places. Yeah. It's you me do you kiss the camera goodnight? <laughs> Give it a little kiss? Yeah. I'm grateful for it. Yeah. I still have the same. I've had the same uh, two main lenses for over 20 years now. So. Same wow. thing. They've been they've been through everything. You, you like keep them nice and yeah. clean. Well, no, I treat them like crap. But, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I bought them. They're tough. Yeah. You know, tough as nails. So. so because you're doing all the photo stuff, have you been swooped into doing video? Do you want to yeah. do video? That's do you like new, it? Like, as... I love it right now. I'm yeah. really into it. Yeah. That's the new. I'm my. Uh, midlife crisis thing that i'm really that's loving it. right now you feel like you're in crisis mode right now I, yeah i'm supposed to be right i'm 42 that's 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 what we're supposed is to that be what right happens? i don't know that's what i was told so i'm, I'm assuming <laughs> yeah. it's a major shift it's like that over, yeah that's what it is but no it's cool oh, because no, it's, it's uh, crazy i'm gonna stop making videos yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. Um, so what are you doing with the video same thing like assisting brands in providing uh, incredible content and a under little bit of professional stuff but mostly yeah. right now it's it's i'm still in like the the personal project mode. So I do, I'll do a little bit of content stuff with it for work, but, um, so I could probably afford the rate for that oh, yeah. for you to follow me around yeah. town. For two I'm, pretty, hours. I'm pretty nice about okay. it right now. Yeah. Okay. Um, but it, dude, it's so hard. Um, <laughs> it's so hard. It's so different, which is after you do something for 20 years and you're really, you master your craft. Mm -hmm. It doesn't mean you don't love it anymore, but it, um, to have something that I'm super new at again is, and, and to like to be new at, yeah. and to like to screw up yeah. it's great i i can't i love reaching out for help and asking people how to yeah. do something it's it's fun man it's and fun then discovering it like getting good at something you're like, oh, like oh i can do that oh, you know that's a cool. transition that was so cool yeah it's betching you do a lot of like we've been talking about surfing photos and i know you've done a ton of snowboarding yep. um photography work for surfing typically just standing on the sand not me or no. you're getting out on the board with the camera yeah all the above that's up i that's how i i made my niche was to like 
move around the most you know so i yeah. would run up a mountain to get an overall and then get in the water to get the yeah. close up and you know that was the traditional way of the, like the older generation was to just sit on the beach with a tripod and then it moved into you know how i tried to bust down the so door you're paddling out with like your camera in a wet bag kind uh, of thing? it's like a uh, waterproof housing like it's yeah. a full composite um oh so you with, with whatever that is on it you can just yeah it's like a sloppy version of it but yeah, yeah. it's like <laughs> I, I don't know. It's like cooking with mittens on. Yeah, you know? like, gotcha. but, but it gets the job yeah, all done. All thumbs, yeah. Yeah, uh, but it gets the job done. Um, are you also so you're a surfer though? Ultimately, like sure. you, yeah, you're, absolutely. You're pretty, you're pretty gnarly out there. No, not anymore. I was no. when I was younger, but not anymore. Not anymore. And and as far as the snowboarding thing, there's a lot of movement there that yeah. you can't. So are you on a board taking pictures yeah. while people are stunting? Yeah. Yeah, that'll be like. This week I'm going on tour with a bunch of snowboard kids and where are you going with who? Uh, Red Bull and we're Red going Bull. with a bunch of young. Do you drink olds. Red Bull? To, uh, we, I don't. No, okay, I'm allowed yeah. to say that I'm not sponsored. You are so I can't, okay. Yeah. Hey, I can't so give don't me don't. heartburn. I can't. Uh, yeah. Okay. I can't. I can't. Dude, I can't drink anything anymore without getting heartburn. <laughs> so who, uh, who are you rolling with on this trip here? Uh, where is it? I'm sorry. No, it's cool. We're going up. We're going to be in Vermont, so we're going through a lot of the old resorts in vermont and it's just the younger generation snowboarder kids this kid zeb powell he's uh, yeah up and coming dude the kids you love zeb i though. love him man you he's really like do. you know it's been a long time snowboarding at like, zeb powell at zeb right? powell dude yeah. yeah actually follow him like yeah get on his program he's uh a good advocate for uh this you generation. said he was like one of the best brand ambassadors ever ever, ever. Like, what why do you, where does that Zeb, we love you, and that's the statement, right? Why do you view Zeb as one of the, like, what is he doing that, like, if if he was rep my brand, I'd be like, oh, my God. Because um, it goes back to the question you were asking earlier over the money. If, if he had all the money in the world, he'd just mm -hmm. be doing exactly what he's doing and having fun doing it. It wouldn't change. Nothing changes. He's very, uh, for his age, he's, he's well beyond What's that his age? years. 26? 20. 20 19 20 19 Jeez, yeah, yeah kid but beyond his years who are these brands that he's being this epic ambassador for yeah Is he's well he's now uh, he, he's red bull full-time he's been for about a year or two and burton snowboard just picked him up um on their official team two weeks ago so yeah. he's hit the big show on all the big brands that is the big yeah. show the stoke farm we got scotty legos coming through here pretty soon oh, is he really? yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah he's good, a good, good cat dude. right there man he's gonna <laughs> he, give you some stories he did all the that's things, my that's yeah. my recommendation then <laughs> yeah for sure he's a good um one. so when you first started again it was ultimately it's just the camera and then we now have the drone right yep. the drone's in full effect yep is that a game changer for you? Was it like, was it at first like, oh, no, I don't like that thing being yeah. a part of this. I'm feeling yeah. a little anxious. He's getting the shots that I used to get. Yeah. Taking away a little bit of my I climb trees vibe. Yeah. And okay, so that's accurate, right? I would oh, assume yeah. this. But how do you feel now about it? Are there any pros of the drone? Do you have a drone setup? I do. I have a drone. Yeah, yeah that was my COVID gift to myself was wow. to, my, my way to get out of my own head, mm. you know, during all this craziness. <laughs> yeah. It's a bl It's fun. It's uh, the cameras are really lackluster to be honest with you in the things, but they're fun to fly around. Um, and you can do it at any point. Are uh, you using? I've I did see a couple drone photos on yeah, your site. Yeah, for sure. So. I use it all the time. Um, yeah. I, I hate to say this, but like I have so much dad duty these days, and my daughter's patience is nil. So if I have my <laughs> camera out on a tripod or anything else she won't hang out so if i have her like it's i gotta have her for most of the day yeah um she loves that drone she the thinks drone. it's hilarious so i was like great if, if that'll help if that's what it takes to go out and keep active with it then and you're that's learning what it is. and you guys are kind of hanging yeah, out together at the it's same our, time it's our like hang session thing it's super fun so the you've kind of shifted the drone into the it's all right category yeah, it's all right. Although I'm it's bummed right. because it took the drone movement took away the heli budgets that we used to get. When I don't we, even know what that is. Oh, helicopter, helicopter. budget. Yeah. Oh, so like you. some jobs would be like, we need the overall, and you'd get to go right up in a man. helicopter. Man, I didn't even think of that about Those the drone. Those days are gone. They're gone. You never get no more heli helicopter again. rides. That's a lot of work to get like a human up there, plan the whole thing out, a pilot, yeah. all the things. Yeah. You used to be able to just say that to somebody like, we need to get a helicopter up to get the shot, and they'd be like, okay. And now they're like, cool. Where's your drone? 
You're yeah. like, oh, dang no, it. You're not, so you're, you're bringing your drone everywhere now. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, so, it's packable and easy and it's like simple. Um, it's been a lot of shoots, a lot. Has there ever yeah. been this kind of terrible disaster where, let's say, you get out to the location and, you're, and it's too cold and all your batteries are not working or somehow, <laughs> I know these things happen, somehow you get home and the SD card has nothing on it or all the files have somehow corrupted and you sit, you have this mo like you're like, no, <laughs> no, 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 yep. no, no, no. And you take it out, put it back and you're like, oh my God, dude, that was eight people all day long. Oh my God. Yeah. That's happened. Uh, yeah. A couple of like kind of the worst one was, um, there's this wave in the middle of the ocean that's really hard to get to here. Am and I hitting a sour spot right no, now? No, it's okay. something I always like because I, dude, it pops in my head like every three months since it's happened. This is years <laughs> later. I have PTSD from Trauma. this. is horrible. <laughs> yeah. It really is, man. It's the worst yeah. to go through it. Um, but it, like, it had to happen at some point. So they were all the way out, and Sam Hammer's a surfer that I've worked with. Sammy Hammer? Sammy Hammer. I like since that. I was a peewee photographer. Um, <laughs> We've been through all of it. So anyways, we've been trying to find a wave like this our, our whole careers and lives, and we found it. And it's yeah. like the day. It's the best day ever. And we have all these great shots. Wow. You know, like we got it from like all the ones we needed. And then I was like, oh, I'm going to go, go out and swim. And you're talking like a good 18, 20 foot face wave. It's massive yep. and dangerous and horrifying. And so I swim out and... I'm like, okay, I had just gotten out there. Like I was really, I was, you know, nervous. Cause it's like 15, 20 feet, 15, 20 yeah, feet. Okay. Yeah. In the middle of the Where ocean, it, middle of the does. ocean. Keep in mind, there's lots of big fish. <laughs> Not where you know, I'm going to be. Yep. Bad, bad place to be. Yep. So I have a lot in my brain. I get out there and I dude, no joke. This, this couldn't have been like any, I'm talking like 30 seconds from getting out into the lineup. Here it comes like the set, the set, like the biggest, this is it. Like literally the biggest, best wave of the whole day comes yep. in. I'm, fucking sitting right there yeah sam drops in it couldn't have been more it was like a, it was like a dream like he just arches his back this thing is the size of school buses and it's baby blue water it's as good as it gets and i just happen to be sitting exactly in the best Perfect possible spot. spot everything was like we's always dreamed oh my this camera's is going like i have it out and we're like he's boom goes through the barrel and i'm like i didn't feel like i feel the vibration as it's going, if it's shooting, yeah, I was like, I didn't feel a vibration. And then we pop up here, and like we're celebrating at this point, like we've waited our whole lives for this moment. Oh. And then I look down, and I forgot oh. to turn the camera on when I put it in the housing, so the camera was never on, and it never had that photo. Oh, so <laughs> it only exists it's, in both of our minds. Just like imagine. But I was like, you know, you're uh, talking yeah, like know. two decades it's of work gone. with somebody, and to finally do it to him, and he's like. This is the day you chose to to have that mess up, and I'm like, well, oh, you know, I, I gotta. I'm, I'm still trying to forgive myself, but I'm, I'm, <laughs> <laughs> it's been a long, hard time. Does he? Uh, does he hit you up every oh, once in a while? Dude, like, yeah, yeah, it's it's a it's until hey, the day bro, I'm do you dead. have that footage from yeah. that <laughs> epic wave that I yeah. caught while you were oh, filming me? To the day I'm dead, man. Oh, Never gonna oh that no, worst day. So, being a photographer, being like anything in the arts. The security isn't really a thing, right? It's so like, it's gig to gig. It's yeah. always is like, the only security you have is knowing that somehow it's worked like before. Um, how do you find the, the gusto, the motivation or the drive to like keep pushing um, and to keep hustling and keep making it happen? Where does that come from? Why are you hard working like this? How come you're not stomped out on the ground? You said your ego was deflated. Yeah. You're saying that, but it's in more of a comedic way because you're actually working hard and getting it done. Yeah. Because that's all you can. That's all you. That's all you can do. Yeah. Um, and I. So you you your drive comes from I have to I have bills. Ultimately, I'd rather just be surfing and sleeping on the sidewalk. No, I'd rather no. I'd rather be doing what I'm doing. Okay. But it. Yeah, and stop on that. Like I, I want this at the end of the day. Yeah. Um, 
Like, do you, do you draw inspiration from anyone? No, do you do I mean, meditation? Do you watch that, videos? Like, what, what no, is it coming from? No, I mean, from? I do have an answer to that, okay. but it's a little bit, I mean, it's kind of depressing in a way, but Depress it, me. I'm, I think real emotions are valuable I mean, and needed. They, they, well, they are. Um, dude, I'm, again, I'm going to say this a few times, but I'm 42 yeah. and that's my skill set. I got yeah. 22 years into it and what do I want to do for the rest of my life, you know? Yeah. And I want to be involved in my craft all the way to the end. And I might not be able to be a competitive shooter in my 70s. Hopefully I can teach or pass on or something at that point. But I'm still young enough where I can fight. And even yeah. though it's harder, I have to say to my, when I have a bad year, and we've talked, we talked about yeah. this in private, you know, on my worst times, in my worst years, when I get put against a wall, I have to realize that it is this, you have got to do this. Yeah. I can go get another job banging nails and mm -hmm. that's fine, but it's not, it's not. It's not. It this might produce the money in. and from the surface, it looks the same. I could but probably from make the more brain, money doing that. To be yeah. honest, you know, I really could. On the some, inside some of your jobs. head, it's a total mess of a disaster total and I quit. And total what's mess. wrong with me? Yeah. But I earned, I earned, I earned it. I've, I've been in this long enough and, and I don't, I don't want to um, give up on it, especially now that I'm, I've fine tuned it and I'm good at it. Like I'm really good at it now. It'd be a, a shame. So I got to keep fighting to, to continue to do it. Um, but it's hard. Creative is, it changes every year. There's like anything, a bunch of young people yeah. coming up that want to take your job. Um, it's just relentless, you know, and you just got to yeah. keep pressing through. Like there's just no, there's just nothing. There's room for it. There's work for all of us. And, and you just have got to push through and believe in it. How much of the photography the love of what you're doing is um for the lifestyle that's associated with it how much do you think that weighs in so let's consider this mm. you're doing what you do now you travel you go to these great locations it's different subjects it's fun it's like you'd be happy to be there if you didn't have your camera for a lot of these places um and that's what i'm saying is the lifestyle the traveling the hotels that are sitting then there's that versus I'm a photographer, but I have a studio. It's just I'm making the same amount of money, but I'm doing the same thing every day. So that's what I mean. Like how how sure. much do you actually love the that lifestyle side of it, and does that weigh into it, yeah. or is it because you enjoy shooting other things and that's it, the subject? No, it's. I mean, I, I do. I love. I grew up in a traveling family, though, yeah. so, I mean, travel were, to me Were is... you guys carnies? Car no, my, Wait, da my dad is was a... a kind of, kind of. My, my dad was a carnival pilot. worker? Yeah, a carny, you know? Sorry. No. <laughs> I'm trying to do the right thing. Um, no, my dad was an airline pilot, so we just... I just, <laughs> I grew up with it, um, yep. and I'll continue to do that, and I, I, don't need, I don't need my camera to do that, so um, nobody does. But I do. I mean, I do. I like. I like moving You love around. the travel. I do. I do. You enjoy love the it. new people, the excitement, uh, yeah. the conversations. The no, yeah. it's good. But I, I, I genuinely. But would like, you take a, a studio? I would. I, yeah. You I was would. About to lead into that, I, I, I had a couple of big studio gigs um, over the past couple of years, and I love it because it's technically harder work. I love my craft. So yeah. sometimes my craft is sitting in a room. Sometimes my craft is traveling. But I love. I love shooting. So as long as it's something I'm engaged in, um, and it's hard, and it's and it. You know, especially some of those studio jobs, they get so technically difficult that yeah. even I might have to learn something new. Oh which no! Is great, like they're hard, and I, yeah. I dude, I love, I love it. I love the um, atmosphere. I don't know if I'd want to clock in and do the same exact thing every day, day in and day yeah. out, but I think an element of being home and being in the studio is really appealing to me a lot. Is it? It, yeah. it is, and I'm because hey, again, I don't. I don't if need it was like three travel. weeks in the studio, one week of travel, oh, you'd love that. That would be a dream. To be wow. honest with you, I really would. Or actually, yeah. I'd probably do a lot more time in the studio and then a little bit of time on the road. Now that I'm, yeah. I'm uh, at my daughter, you know, like it's nice yeah. to be home and that's great. You know, cool down a little bit. How, How old's your daughter? daughter? She's going to be four in May. Wow. Yeah. That's exciting. You're it's a insane. good dad. I try. I hope. Yeah. Y you feel like you're succeeding yeah. in this effort? Yeah. No, I do. I poured, I poured more time. I think that's the other part that's hard with business I've spent. And, and I think rightfully so more time pouring into my daughter than into yeah. my marketing. And I just Balancing. think in 20 years, I'll be grateful I did. So yeah, it's, it's more important. I'm still alive and I got to hang out yeah. with my daughter. hundred percent. Um, so as, as far as, as your career, what do you what do you think you're missing? What are you dying to do? Like, what is there another goal? Like, it, Surfer Magazine was your thing, yeah. And that goal happened, yeah. And every time we get to a new level, we hit, we we think we're at the ceiling, 
And then all of a sudden, we're just like, oh, no, our head's through another floor. There's a whole other place to go. Yeah. So what, what, what right, right now, now, is there anything that you're like, I'm trying to get that. I want yeah. that. What is it? Uh, right now, it's the video stuff. So I'm, I literally just wrapped a project this week. Um, I've been following a ultra endurance athlete, this girl, yep. Steph Bishop. Um, we've been working on a project up in the Pemi range, or pump, sorry, the Pemi loop up in uh, the like White Mountains. Like a trail Mountains. runner? Yep. What, yeah. And uh, it's this brutal, brutal 32-mile, 9,800 vertical feet hike that takes most people a couple days she's trying to do in six hours <laughs> so we've been grinding it out up there grinding. um showing what she's capable of and also yep. the, the thing but to do video you know i've done photo for so long but to do this with these sweeping motion shots has been oh my gosh it's exciting like it's it's so fresh and new and i want to see if i can my photos uh, moving i do yeah, yeah. i want to see if oh, i can yeah. land if i can i push the video as far as i did with photo i'd, I'd like to know maybe i don't do it for the rest of my life but i'd like yep. to to know that i can do it so with the things you've done here, you, you feel pretty good about them yeah, so far. So far, yeah. This, I'm proud of this piece coming out right now. I was like seeing it kind of completed right now. I'm just, you know. Having watched what I have seen of yours, I didn't have the thought of, oh, he just started doing this. Just so you know. Oh, I didn't good, look cool. at them. Like the, what is it, Michael, Mikhail? Yeah, I, yeah. I didn't look at that and go, oh, he's got some work to do. I, I was <laughs> more, I don't actually think I thought about the transitions and the scene changes because sure. it was appealing. Like the thing was like telling me a story more so. I was like yeah. watching the thing happen that, yeah, never yeah. that I haven't. So that's cool. This is a nice thing I'm saying to you. Thanks. It is. No, yeah, from, I, I appreciate from that. Me, <laughs> from my eyes and my brain, I was like, oh, this is good. Nice. I Thanks. I'm watching. Wow. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's hard. I have a lot of respect for the, the guys making uh, video pieces that take your breath away, man, because it's oh, not yeah. easy to do it. Has anyone ever at the end of a job been like, you know what, Brian? Screw you. Mm. I give you nothing. Yeah. And I'm going to use your pictures. Yep. Really? Yep. How does that make they you feel? They don't really say that, though. They just do it. And just, how does that just make out. you feel? And how do you deal with that? Um, Poor reactions. Yeah, you can't. You want to, but you can't. You just kind of, I don't know, because you... They, a lot of the times people know that you have some things you have to wager in that equation, which is hiring a lawyer, yeah. um, burning bridges. Yeah. Uh, they, it's things I don't want to do, you know, and they know I'll probably just walk or, or maybe not. Depends on how bad it brushes some up against me. Tell you they're going to pay you and then strong arm you, use your photos. Yep. It's happened. It's kind of like, have you seen any of these people again? No, I mean, that's, I mean, that's a bridge burned to me, you know, yeah. it's just that when you do, when I do it, it, it stinks. It's, it doesn't hold the same uh, value in parallel, you know, like they'll do it and they get away with it. Or then I do it. I, I yeah. retaliate and then I pay a price for that, you yes. know, and it's. Um, so do you, has this altered your approach in the way that you deliver your product versus um, when you get the payment? Yeah, well, I mean, everything I do has a contract. Yeah. So, I mean, I legally bind yeah. a company. So there's no there's paperwork no says it has to happen. But are you actually going to go through with a lawsuit? I mean, it, that you probably you don't. Can't I, you really don't have to once a contract. Yeah. And yeah. I, dude, it keeps me just as legally, you yeah. know, and it's scary. I have to hold a lot, like lots of insurance over my business to protect myself in those contracts too. Yeah. Um, but it's good for both parties. That way, everybody's on board that that it's going to be. Um, you know, a completed successful shoot. Yeah. You're going to get what you need out of it. You know, most importantly, you're going to get a return on what I make for you. It's not just making beautiful things. It has to, right. you're hiring me to, to move your business, business, you know? Yeah. Um, so we're, we're doing that. We're getting those, those assets in your hand. I just bought a camera. I don't know anything about it. Just Brian, you're really good at what you do. <laughs> Can you just, just, I know that this is hard to do, but just one, just one sentence of advice of how to take a good picture. One sentence. <laughs> Sound <laughs> advice. I don't want to know go, too much because I'm already freaked out. Go buy a photography 101 book and read it <laughs> front to back. That's it. Damn, that's they're too many like, words. They're like this thick too. I say this to everybody and they're like, no, is there something else I can do? <laughs> something like, else? Can I watch a video? You're like, that's not going to have the same yeah, impact. Yeah. So. <laughs> no, but it's really, oh, it's, it's basic math. Everything, it's a sliding scale of just exposure you know so yeah. light just reacting and learn the scales yeah. and you'll know it 
And just keep trying, and like if you take a hundred, it yeah. works. I mean, <laughs> just be, yeah, just put it on whatever it is, <laughs> rapid fire, and uh, one of them will work. Yeah, one of them. Um, you take care of yourself. I know you love your daughter. You love your sure. wife. You taking care of yourself, like physically. Are you exercising? Are you breaking a sweat? <laughs> are you eating good food? Are you taking care of yourself? Uh, I confident in the shape of your structure. No, not no. anymore. No, I did. I got away with murder in my twenties and my thirties. And what does have, that mean? You I abused to, yourself. I didn't have to do scared, much, and yeah, I could just, just accomplish it. You know? wrecked, and you looked great. Yeah, yeah it was fine. Um, yeah. But no, it's starting to get. It's just getting hard. But I do. I mean, I, I ride my mountain bike, a road bike, a hike, a backcountry snowboard. I surf. Like I try and do quite a bit, and I still the sliding scale goes the wrong direction. I see. I'm sure it's mostly to do with my junk diet, but... Um, <laughs> what is this junk diet? Like, you'll actually go to, like, uh, Crack Donald's, have a no, little snack? No, 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 no not no, that no, bad. No. How but, about Dunkin' Donuts? Would you eat but, yourself a little sangy from there oh, in the morning? No. Okay, so I'm what's the junk diet? Like what do you mean? Doritos? Years. What's the junk? No, it's like one cookie, man. I have one cookie, and I gain, like, 50 pounds from it. It's insanity. It's the whole cookie it's story. Insanity. You're the guy that gains 50 pounds I can't, from dude, one cookie. It's crazy. It's yeah. crazy. No, I mean it's it's just like uh, any little any anything that's like moderately bad for you it has a massive effect now. It's mm. crazy. Let's, Moving let's... slower. I don't sleep as good. <laughs> sleep like it just, is good. God, man, it's, it's getting to you. I, but you're jumping in the ocean now. I just said. Right? I just said to we. I was hiking up. Uh, with my backcountry partner doing a snowboard trip, we've done like four or five of these <laughs> trips his own this back year. Backcountry partner. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, you have to. Yeah. Um, but I was like, man, I was like, are you getting any quicker this year? Because I was like, we keep going, and I'm not getting any. Like, I'm not. You're supposed to like every hike feel like, oh, I feel better. I feel better. Yeah. I'm getting quicker. And I'm like, I feel like day one every time like, we do this. Kind of the same. Like, it's kind of struggling. What's going on? <laughs> like, I can't breathe. <laughs> it's like, yeah. oh, I don't know. I don't know. I could do way better. Yeah. You know, I I love you. I want you to. Know. <laughs> I, think I, I don't want to go anywhere. I don't want to leave <laughs> depart too soon. Trust me. Uh, so do um, let's say like you're in the pit at a concert. You've done these kinds of shoots, right? Yep. Uh, it's you and the other photographers. Yeah. The competition. You guys like each other? Or is there no? Um, no one really cares. There is in that stuff, but every time I have to do the pit stuff, and I say that because I'm not a big fan of the live music stuff. Yeah. Not li like show live music. I love shooting musicians yes um doing their craft but um it's because there's nothing i can control it's their lighting it's their they've made it all up so i'm yeah. just there that is when i say like we're just there to press the button yeah but usually when i'm uh shooting a concert it's to get extra content that's going along with all the other work i did with that artist right. we've already done portraits we've already done storytelling so, so these I, aren't going to be the lead things here. no it's just be a part, part of, of the, the story. always yeah. just part of the story and um which I've been, to be honest, super grateful for because those guys are competing for shots, and I go in and do my whatever three songs worth of yeah, they're shots shooting for like magazine covers. No, they got it the whole time. They're it, yeah. just, and then I can just put the camera down like, oh, and be five shots. I'm good for my story. And then I can listen. Yeah, there's been like what better, what better perk to the job than to have listened <laughs> behind the scenes with all those musicians has been a treat. So, That's yeah. A little competition, though. A little bit amongst the other guys. Not so much you in that no, scene. No, and it's good, too, because it, it makes it... It's just because you don't have to be, like... You're like pushing each other out you know, of the way. You they don't, do, though. Not. They get they gnarly. Are. They yeah. get gnarly. And they do these, like, well... I like what? Like you bought that space? Like you bought? <laughs> yeah, like you yeah. like get out of here, dude! It's a free space, you know. <laughs> but I can always be like, go ahead, I, and because then I can be condescending too. Like, go ahead, Bobby. You yeah, can, no, no, it's Why all you yours, man. It. Go if that's what you need to take a good shot. Then it's all yours, you know. Whatever, bro. Brian, yeah, you have a middle name, Paul. Paul, Brian, Paul Nevins. Mm. Yes, sir. I pronounced that right, yeah. Nevins. When you're in trouble right there. Um, so I asked you to come here today for two reasons. This is four, but now it's two. For two reasons. For two reasons. The first is I love that you are carving your own path. You found a passion. That's admirable. And you have carved your own path to exist doing what you love. That in itself, it's uncommon. You know, like just the fact that you are doing what you love is so unique. I love you for it. And beyond that, you're succeeding with this. You're not wasting away. You're succeeding doing something you love that you created out of nothing. Doesn't even exist until you make it. And now it's like giving food to people. It's amazing. Love you for that. Thanks. Man. Okay. Second reason. 
I think you're a good person. I think that, you, you know, there's a problem. You'll help. You actually have a history of doing this kind of thing. It's really, it's nice to see that there are good people in the world. So to sit down and chat with somebody who has, I want to do this, took it from an idea inside his crazy little mad brain, and then actually had it produce something to benefit life and the people you love, and to continue to be a good person. You need praise for that. I'm a grown man. <laughs> You're a grown man. I'm comfortable to tell you. I love what you're doing, man. Thank you. So good. Thanks. That's so good. Like you're you the right. kind of people we need in the world. Thanks, man. Yeah. I, I really don't, I don't. I don't get to hear that. Yeah. So, no, thanks. because this doesn't happen. At some point, there's no. There's no compliments. It's not like you're looking for them, but it's nice to hear. Like I. I don't. I met you today, right? And from where I sit, I can see this. But people just don't tell each other that kind of thing. I'm letting you know. I love it, man. Good Thanks, for you. Man. It's really cool. I appreciate really it. Really cool. That's all. Um, you want to play a game? Sure. Quick game? All right. The game is called <laughs> Fast, Fun, and Not So Smart. Okay. You want to know why? Because it's fast. It's fun. And I don't want you to think that much. Just give the answers, okay? Here. All right. I'm going to do stuff like this that kind of troubles you, that makes you feel <laughs> okay. like a little like it's anxious. <laughs> all right. Here we go. Fast, fun, and not so smart. Brian Nevins. Best place to purchase camera gear. B&H photo. B&H. That's a great answer. <laughs> steak salad or seaweed salad? Oh, steak salad. Oh. oh. What is your wife's middle name? <laughs> Lee. Lee. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad you got that. If you had to eliminate one state in the United States of America, what state would it be? Let's go. Connecticut. Connecticut. Sorry. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Best surf shop in New Hampshire. Ooh, cinnamon rainbows. Cinnamon rainbows. Look at that. Some people might be upset. Who makes the <laughs> best workwear clothing? Oh, what is the name of that brand? <laughs> <laughs> Come on. 1620. <laughs> oh. In your time, did you get drunk or just have one? Just have one. Just have one. You've always been a just have one guy? Definitely not. Definitely not. <laughs> Do you wish you stayed home today? <laughs> no, don't answer this. No, one. definitely not. No. <laughs> no. Good day He's out. He's pretty certain. Um, thanks for playing. Thanks for being here, honestly. Yeah, yeah. For sure. It's been nice talking to you. It's good to talk about how it, do, man. Um, how do people connect with um, you, Brian? Social media stuff. Yeah. Instagram. Yeah, you can hit me up on Instagram. Um, although somehow that gets through the cracks a lot more by email uh, or person. In person is the in best person. way to do it. Yeah. With a mask. <laughs> With a know, mask. Go track them down. Yeah, six feet away to stay high. You know, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> but the Instagram situation is at Nevin's photo. Nevin's photo. Yep. N E V I N S photo. You can't spell photo. Just carry on to something else. Uh. I think that's it, man. Cool. I feel good. I'm ready to sign off. All right. Did this fulfill all the things that you wanted it to? Because it, it sure man. did for me. Hey, it's for, first podcast, bro. <laughs> it is? Yeah. This is this this is it. You popped my podcast. Yeah. Right. <laughs> well, on that note, I got to say, I love you, love you, love you for watching, watching, offering something. My name, Michael Bernier. Brian Nevins right there. It's a good life that we're living. Enjoy that thing. Big love and thanks to our sponsors. Enjoy your life brand. Everything at Enjoy Your Life brand. Riverwalk Brewing Company at Riverwalk Brewing and the Higher Education Music and Arts Festival. Higher Education Fest dot com. Hit subscribe. I love you, man. This has been good. Thanks for being here. Oh, pleasure, man. Thanks you, for having you, me. You you might actually look better with that hat on than the yellow one. This is my Whoopi man. It's like <laughs> it goes with me everywhere. <laughs> That's it, y'all. Enjoy your day, my friends.